Okay, welcome to part 2 of the light mask tutorial or slot tutorial. So, we've already created the slots. Now we're going to do the light mask. We have Zmod already open and what we're going to do is we're going to gather some textures. And we're going to do I think we're going to use some yellow running lights first. At least I hope. Try and find the folder that I had the text using. Uh, here's the new folder 60. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go into your trailer base and you're going to copy out this. I'm not sure we're going to even use these, but just go into W900L and copy out these two textures. It's in the vehicle, truck, kind of W900L. And you're going to convert them to TGA. I, already, I think I already converted mine and then put it in the base folder that I'll be working in. So it's going to be some folder mine. Okay. Um, yeah, they're here. Just to do these, it's part of a failed tutorial. Just to do these and good. And let's delete this. Um, please, my base oh, before the twelve. As before the ten. Uh, let me look in Blender. Just fixing some stuff up. Thirteen. Deleting some stuff that I did from a previous tutorial. So, um, all right, let's begin. Now we're just gonna do the small light, the small lights first. So we'll just go ahead and, well, I think I'll just be doing the small lights only. Okay, now press Shift and A cursor to shift and. Shift and S cursor to center and then select the light and then shift and S selection to cursor. You want it in the center. I'm just gonna pull the center out a little. So about there. Not sure how it should look. I haven't seen one in Y. We're being close to one, so I'm just assuming that it has a little bulge. Just, yeah. Now, we just start off with the Chrome. I showed you guys how to make Chrome already, so it should be simple. I have to explain this part. I don't have to really unwrap this part because it's just gonna be, it doesn't really have any detail on it, so I'll just make one. Just uh, make a UV layer. That should be it. Just change the reflection a little, and now let's work on the light. Now, for this material, we're gonna make um, yellow running lights. I wonder if they have yellow running lights. I should check. So, I'm going to my 
SCS. My SCS space, then I'm gonna go to units and hookups. And this is where all the lights are. So I'm looking for flares. No, not so I'm looking for vehicle. All the lights that work on the trucks and cars are labeled on the vehicle. So you see you have Oxlab, beacon, blue, brake light, headlight, high beams. Oh yeah, it's orange, now I remember. Orange LED. Let's hope that's it. You can also use any of these, like you can use blinkers, but you have to configure it in the. Um, let me see. You have to look to the UV, like UV layers. So for UV, um, for you light mask, you need the lamp material. Add vertex. Now, this should have two UV layers. So make one um go over to data and then go on the uv maps i think i already mapped it well i didn't map it map it i unwrapped it for you guys so uv image editor and select two um the plus to create another uv channel and click on uv map now go over here and select in vehicle truck upgrade that what that I showed you guys how to set up your base and everything so it shouldn't have a problem there it's in the previous tutorial and we're wrong texture we don't want the mass texture we want the lamp the clear texture for UV1 you can map it on anything on any light texture you, have. you can download it off the internet and just map it on it it would work and we're just gonna map it so where is it? Um, w900 L lamp, lamp clear. So don't worry about it being deformed. So I uh, now we're gonna map it on this one right here this is the LED light you can also use this but the one we're using is this I'm using is this one right here so press A if it's not selected press A to select all oh, while well, your mouse is in this part of the screen and press G to grab and try to get it in the center use the mouse wheel to zoom you need a mouse to do this now press S and then X to scale on the X axis. Press S again on S and then Y to scale on the Y axis. Then select um, for the mapping and select like UV layer 1 and this is how it will look don't worry about it looking disgruntled and ugly the UV mapping will help it when it's it's lighter it's lit. okay now for the mastics we're going to use the mask so truck upgrade dam and then we're going to use W900L lamp mask Now we're gonna go on the truck mod shop. There's a post. There's a post on this forum made by Smarty, which helps, which outline tells you, basically explains how light mask works and the blender tool, and where you should put which color, which UV color, 
which alpha color well, which UV color is responsible for what and which UV position tau position gives you gives you what kind of color. Now we're doing positional light lights. That means when you turn on the truck, it will be it will turn on. I mean, once you turn the lights on on the truck, it will light up. And as you can see here, you have high beams in UV tau one and two, and the green alpha green channel and basically the texture has four channels you have an alpha channel a blue channel a green channel and a red channel which i can't really explain i understand how it works but i just don't know how to explain it right now but we want to map it to get a positional light you want to map it on the alpha channel and then on the alpha channel and uv channel uv tile four so we're going to go to Blender now and then we're going to go to Data and then we're going to click UV Channel 2. We're going to go to Edit Mode and we're going to find the Mask Texture. And then now we're going to go into, we're going to show only the Alpha Channel, so this right here. If you want, you can show only show the red channel or the green channel or the red channel. Basically, this this tool in Blender blocks out the other channels and it only shows you the channel you want to see. So I want to see the alpha channel right now. These are all the textures that you can use in the alpha channel. So we want to map it right here. So I'm just gonna press T. Scale on the x axis and then scale it on the y axis. <coughs> Excuse me. And then now we're going to go over to SCS tool and then we're going to turn on positional position. And then we're going to click the middle button. These are basically the other positions where you can go with. click middle UV layer. Oh, sorry about that we need to select UV channel UV map 2 now we're gonna select um, where's the middle and it should map it over here basically you there are for the UV chan um, UV tiles they're like this texture will be will be multiplied over here like about four times so if you copy this it'd be one two three and four so basically I don't in Z mod like over here you can actually see them it's better for you to, it's better for you to see them so let's let's go and open up uh, I think I have to create a material so Let's just create one. So, I'm going to create a system. I think it's dual diff dot spec or something. I don't remember. Yeah, dual diff. Dual diff plus spec and now okay, turn this on, scroll down and okay. add textures. I think it's in for the fifteen. For the UV, as I'm saying, for the UV channel one, we're we're just we can use any texture, and so I'm just going to use the clear for UV channel two. We're going to use the mask. Let's click OK, and don't this is me. Uh, 
I'm okay. Now everything is okay. I forgot I made I made something, so let me just import uh, the truck. It's just an example. You can skip this part of the tutorial if you want. You see, I'm at this part. So Edit easy channel. So keep on all mapping. Force it onto new material. This has nothing to, to do with Blender, but I'm just trying to explain to you. Uh, not how it works. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to show you the easy tile. So I'm going to make it up to 10. In this case, this is how it, it looks, but Blender is not showing you it. If you have anything that's mapped over here, and you move it over here, it will still be mapped on this part. Okay, now we're almost 12, we're finished. So now, the cool thing about Blender, you can see how it looks before you export it. That's a feature Zmod doesn't have. So I can turn it on and off. See all the LEDs are lighting up because of the light mask texture it has. So now let's create the light node. This is a problem most people have. They keep messaging me asking me how to make light nodes and I keep telling them to use Blender to make the light nodes but they say they don't understand. But what you can do is you can make the light nodes in Blender with this simple tri trick. So go over to scene and then right down here you have unit hookups you're going to go to your SCS base in my case it's SCS so I'm going to go to units and hookups and set select hookup library dictionary and which directory now then you're gonna go down to turn off when object mode and press A and make sure you're not selecting anything. And then add root and then go over to object and scroll down. And then go to SCS object and then turn off tech click locator and then click model. And I'll just click node for one here, and then I'll just look for the vehicle players. The one I'm looking for is um orange LED, orange or something. Can't. There is a lot. I really, I'm, I'm trying to learn how to make license plates. I want to make a custom license plate that will spawn on other trucks. You know, like the California license plates or the Arizona. I don't there is anything wrong with it. But I'd like to have a custom license plate on it. Not the one that you go on the World of Trucks account and set up. I want something like, say I live in another country, I like my country's license, like, to be honest, that's weird. Where is it? Oh, you can just tap in LEDs and it says flare that vehicle that orange LED so that's what I want now just scale it down and pull 
out you want the center to protrude to be out a bit not touching not hitting behind the model because that's where the light spawns from direct center so I'll pull it out here and basically we're done so now what we have to do now is press A and make sure that everything is selected and then add a root and I'll just call this OD1 then now we're going to select the root where we want it to export so in our case you want it to export in vehicle truck or break down and then all we have to do now is just export and let's go clean oh, just look for you. since it doesn't want me to clean it out Okay, so it's done converting. Now, all we have to do now is work on the depth files. So now we're going to go to a new folder, 13 notes extracted, and ready. So now all the automats and everything are okay. We don't need to look at them. So now you can see it's here, and all the textures and everything is here. So now we need to work on the depth. So we're gonna go to go back and do it on the depth. We're just gonna delete this folder and go back into my mods. Just gonna copy out my depth. Now, assuming that I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys have the 389 mod, so what we're going to do is we're going to go inside the 389. Where is the down? Um, we're going to go into def and then vehicles and truck. So now we're going to look for a folder name add-on underscore hookups and a SII file call small so now we're just going to copy those into def and vehicle then we're just going to go inside it and then what the hell happened oh, it's like an undo copy so undo delete so now we're they put the wrong one in. No. Delete and I'll just switch over. So copy the these two files and folder. Now we're gonna go into Yon add on hookups and we're just gonna do everything except for the small and we're going to edit this so we're going to rename it and we're going to rename it from the small one i'm going to do like call it like down i have make it your own thing because if someone some people probably using the same thing if, if you have this file probably corrupt your game if someone has the same mod and if you put it in your mod folder you have it able then it won't work so just make it something original to you now you're gonna go into your you're gonna go into edit your um, edit with notepad plus plus now we're just gonna name this down Name it whatever you want. But basically, you're telling the game that 
this for the file that you want is located in add-on hookups folder and that's its name so I'm just gonna call it Dan 97 so this name in here doesn't have to be the same as the name of uh, the name of this file doesn't have to be the same file as the one inside the folder but um, I'm just gonna use it so just copy whatever you wrote and type and then just save it and go in here and click rename and we're gonna go into edit multi plus plus we're gonna delete from under this bracket right here so now then we're gonna delete these right here or if you want this part to be accessible to any other parts that have a slot you can just simply add another suitable for a line and put the part name so in my case I mine will be back and you don't have to change the name but I'm gonna call it mine LED can set the price and you know, change the name to Dan 97 so vehicle truck upgrade this is your path right here this is how you know your path you're gonna go back into the object let's do this copy this and then this right here delete out one use the slashes then now you're gonna see what you call mine I think I call mine LED I'm not sure so LED one I'm gonna call this LED one so just save it and you're done you're finished So now you have your desk, everything is configured. So now you can just compress it and put it in a mod folder, but I already have one in my mod folder, which is part one. I call it why don't do that? Can drag just drag it in just do this and everything should be okay so it's startups American truck simulator it doesn't bug me for my password. So in order to get this, um, in order to find this, you can just use that link or just go on the truck my shop forum and sign up. Don't so please, guys, I'm begging you, do not go on that site and beg people for help or their mods. And what you need to do once you sign up, you just go over to search.